Hello, my beautiful Leos. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. Okay, Leo, uh, we have King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here, and we also have the Temperance card. So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, potentially an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We do have Taurus specifically, though. Okay, um, Leo, I feel with the King of Pentacles as well as the Temperance card, there's something that is, you know, feeling more balanced for you this week, okay? This could be the stability of the connection. This could be, um, you know, maybe this person's emotional expression. Maybe you feel like there's more equal give and take or this person's being more open with you. There's something that feels more balanced between you and this individual uh, this week here. This could also let me know with the King of Pentacles and Temperance, someone is thinking about bringing more balance into the connection, whether it's, like I said, being more open with you, spending more time with you, uh, making their intentions very clear. So let's start off by seeing how this person is viewing you this week. Knight of Cups, wow. Um, Aquarius pulled this as uh, how they're being viewed this week as well. This was their first card to come out. So maybe for some of you, um, you are involved with an Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, guys. But this person is viewing you as someone where they want to be honest about their emotions towards you this week. This could be an emotional confession. This could be someone offering you their cup of love. But I do see it as someone making their emotions, uh, you know, very known. Like, you know, I care for you, Leo. I want more. Or just someone treating you or some sort of a kind gesture that makes you feel appreciated, that makes you feel loved. And more importantly, this person wants you to know that they care for you. They want to make their emotions very known. They want to make you very happy is what I see here. We have the Two of Swords, okay, and the Queen of Cups in the challenge position. <clears throat> okay, here's what I see, Leo. Well, I'm kind of getting like a couple of things here, but mainly what I'm getting, guys, with the Two of Swords and the Queen of Cups is this is someone, okay? This week, the reason why they feel challenged by this connection is they love you, okay? First of all, they love you. They have emotions for you, but with the Two of Swords, there's something here, guys, that they don't really... It's kind of like a, well, I don't know about this or I don't know about that. Again, it's a general reading, so it could differ in terms of like what's causing them confusion. But two of swords usually comes up when you're really not sure or you're not seeing something clearly. Okay, now the second thing that I'm getting here is this person has a lot of emotions for you, but there may be some sort of limiting beliefs that they're placing upon themselves or or on this or, or when it comes to this uh, connection here, right? So it's like, uh, you know, for example, I want to express how I feel to Leo, but I'm not really sure if, uh, you know, I should say it this way or that way, or they feel like there's only one way to go about something. Okay, so what's coming through very strongly here, Leo, is the reason why your person is feeling challenged this week is there's some sort of limiting beliefs that are hindering, you know, uh, their growth or, or their ability to move forward here. Okay, with the Queen of Cups, I do see it as someone who does have a lot of emotions for you, but it could even be where they're like, okay, I need to feel more emotionally balanced. I need to, you know, keep my emotions intact or gather my thoughts and, and, and you know, almost like collect myself and my emotions before I come forward. What I see is there's something here they don't see clearly and they want answers on it. There's also something where, like I said, not to sound too repetitive, limiting beliefs. That's what I see them being challenged by, uh, you know, this week when it comes to this connection. I also feel, guys, that like there may be something that's in front of this person, but they're not seeing it. So, you know, maybe you will you will better understand what this is, whether it's, uh, you know, maybe you feel like they're just in their mind a lot. The swords energy could come up when someone is overanalyzing a situation. 
right? So the limiting beliefs that they're placing upon themselves don't have to be the truth. But if this is something that they're feeding their mind every day, they're going to, uh, you know, start to believe it. So I do see it as someone who is um, having a hard time, you know, coming out of their mind here. And I do feel like for many of you, you probably know this or you're sensing this. It's like, um, this person's over analyzing something or you know, maybe you feel like they are over complicating something in their mind and maybe the reality of the situation is it is that it is much easier to uh, you know, move forward or to attain some sort of progress here. So the way that you're viewing them, the magician, okay, so you definitely feel like they're wanting some sort of a new beginning. You do feel like they're manifesting a change with you. How it's coming through to me is you're viewing them as someone where you're like, I know you have the desire to change, or I know you have the tools or what it takes to create a change, but you are in your own way. So for some of you, you may think that, you know, this is a case of self-sabotage, or it's just like an energy of you feeling like, okay, well, I think this person's just overanalyzing. I think they're just an overthinker. And if they were just to do, or if they were just to come forward and speak to me, it would be a lot easier than them just feeling trapped in their mind. Because the way that you're viewing them is you feel that they're able to change something in this dynamic. You are viewing them as someone who's very powerful. Uh, you are viewing them as someone who knows what they want, but you feel like sometimes they're in their own way, or that's how you're specifically feeling this week about them. We have the Three of Cups in your feelings, and we also have the Seven of Swords. This may be the reason why you feel like they have the power to change something or you feel like the ball is in their court. Three of Cups, Seven of Swords, uh, in your feelings. Uh, this could this could mean a couple of different things. For one, guys, it could definitely be someone who has, um, you know, possibly made you feel like an option in the past or you uh, for sure knew that there was someone or something else that was, you know, in the way of this connection. Now, with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Swords, it's almost like you sense either this person wants to apologize or you sense that they want to come forward, but you also feel like they're feeling a bit defensive, okay? Um, there's something here about you not trusting this person, but possibly wanting some sort of an explanation or even a form of closure. Because the way that you're reading, like, especially with the Knight of Cups, I'm like, okay, this is someone who wants to be honest with their emotions, someone who wants to come forward. And the way that you're viewing them is like, well, the ball is in your court or you have the ability to change what's going on. And it, and it, uh, you know, with the three of cups and the seven of swords in your feelings, it kind of says a lot here because it means that you either feel like they're in the wrong. So it's up to them to apologize or you're viewing them as dishonest. So you do feel like the best thing would be for them to come clean. And you may feel like it's not your job to initiate a conversation here. Okay, guys, uh, we have the moon. Yeah. And we also have the queen of wands. Yours, you may be very silent with this person this week, or if you're communicating with them, you're not doing most of the talking. Instead, you're doing a lot of analyzing. Here's what I will say, guys. The moon and the queen of wands is you feeling like I had a gut feeling about something or I was right about something all along. And what's bothering you is it was not confirmed by this person. Okay, so it's not to say you want validation, but it is to say that you're feeling a bit left out in the cold. You are feeling a bit betrayed here, right? Um, I guess what's making you feel uneasy is you know the truth about this person, but you feel like they're not coming clean about it. So like you could have figured out this person was either stepping out on this bond or there was some sort of, um, uh, you know, dishonesty here, but I don't think you found it out through this person. And this could be the reason why you sense that they want to come forward or you sense that they want to apologize but you also feel, or you are feeling this week, that this person is being very secretive with you. Seven of Swords, the Moon, the Three of Cups. Now, for others of you, it doesn't have to be dishonesty. Seven of Swords could be a strategic behavior. It is coming up in your feelings. So there could be an energy of you feeling that you are moving away from this person or you're really wanting to move away from this connection, but you're doing it in a silent manner. So it's not like you're reaching out to them and saying, hey, I no longer want to speak to you and, uh, you know, I'm moving forward. It could just be you trying to detach from the situation. Uh, you know, maybe there's some sort of, uh, you know, cord cutting going on here and you're just moving away in silence. Sometimes the seven of swords and the moon could be what you're intuitively feeling guided to do. Okay. But it is not something that is being publicized. You know, this is something that you're intuitively feeling guided to do, but you're keeping it to yourself. 
And with the Queen of Wands, I think that there is some sort of a bold move that you're making this week that is making you feel very confident, okay? And I also see you standing in your power in terms of you know the truth about a situation, you're not going back on it. So in your feelings, it's almost like even if you're open for a conversation, you're like, I already know the truth. So there's nothing you can say, there's nothing you can do to, you know, uh, uh, shift my perspective here. So maybe the conversation is just about closure um, or the conversation is just about coming clean about something. Maybe you still have the question of, well, why, you know, why were you dishonest or, uh, you know, why were you, um, uh, you know, not telling me the entire truth, that sort of thing. But for many of you, I see some sort of bold move on your end that is making you feel very confident. And like I said, the moon and the seven of swords could be you moving away from something or someone, but being silent about it. We have the Hanged Man clarifying the Two of Swords, okay? And we have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. This week, guys, I feel like your person, they feel very stuck, right? Two of Swords and the Hanged Man is like thinking about you, yes, but it, it's almost like when you're feeling stuck, like you you don't know what to do, you don't know what's going to happen in the connection here. And I think that as much as they're having a new perspective and they feel like they know what to do here, um, the Hanged Man is not necessarily an action-oriented card. Now with the Queen of Cups and the Death card here, guys, this is very specific, okay? This person feels very deeply for you but their emotions are really triggering them this week. So it's either like, you know, I can I can read this many different ways. It could be someone who's like, okay, well, Leo and I aren't speaking, but I still keep thinking about Leo and I still have a lot of love for them. So it's bothering me. Or it's someone who's like, I have so much love for Leo. I'm still thinking of Leo, but I was dishonest with them. So why was I dishonest with them? There's something about the fact that they care for you and they have emotions for you, but it's driving them up a wall. So you know, their emotions could also be associated with some sort of guilt, right? Or it's like they're feeling the guilt because of the emotions, kind of like, okay, well, if I love Leo, why was I dishonest? It's like they thought something here that occurred, they would be able to get over it very easily. And they feel like it's kind of backfiring on them, if you will. With the Queen of Cups and the Death card, it's almost like someone who's trying to ignore their emotions or they wish that they weren't, they don't feel as deeply as they do for you, right? Not saying that their emotions are going to disappear overnight. This is just what the, how they're feeling. It's like, I don't want to feel this way or my emotions are taking a toll on me or um, my emotions are draining me, that sort of thing, okay? Now, with the Death card as well as the Queen of Cups, this week they feel, or what's becoming very clear to them, is that they don't have access to the nurturing side of you. Um, you know, whether it's you would always, uh, you know, sympathize with this person, whether it's you were always there for them, whether it's you would always try. There's something about your patience or your nurturing side that they feel like they no longer have access to. So it's like, okay, how I see it is they're like, I need to accept this ending or I need to accept that things are not happening between Leo and I. But then when they really get to the bottom of it, they realize that they still care or they still love you. So, you know, said all that to say their emotions are definitely bothering them this week. And it's like an energy of, I want to put an end to my emotions, but it's not that easy, right? It's easier said than done. So we have the nine of wands in their feelings, okay? So they you could have this person blocked because this could be when someone wants to speak to you, but they don't know how to get through to you. Um, and we also have the ace of pentacles, yeah? They want a new beginning with you, right? That's what the ace of pentacles speaks about. It speaks about someone who wants to offer you something that you would want to invest in. A very stable new beginning at that. But with the nine of wands, they're feeling very, not only exhausted, they're feeling wounded. There's something here that is causing them to feel guarded. It could be your response. It could be how they've treated you in the past. It could even just be someone who's having a hard time acknowledging and accepting how they feel. It, you know, they may feel like it's taking a lot from them to say, yeah, maybe I am wrong, but I still care for Leo. And because I care for Leo, I have to do things differently. Or because I care for Leo, I have to apologize. It's, it's like they're trying to accept how they feel, but it doesn't make it any less difficult. 
And it could even be someone who's like up in their mind over analyzing. Like maybe for you, it feels like, okay, well, you could just apologize if you really wanted to. And, and you know, we could talk, we could, we could talk about it. We could speak about it. But for this person, it may, it may feel like it's the end of the world or they feel that even if they apologize, nothing is going to change. There's like something that they're thinking and it's not serving them or the connection. So this could be pessimistic thinking. This could be limiting beliefs, like I stated earlier. We have the two of wands in their feelings and the ten of wands. They're they're very fixated on what is going to happen, but nine of wands and ten of wands is someone who's still dealing with an ending, which means it's either still fresh on their mind, Leo, like something could have happened as of recently, or they're looking at the situation and with the nine of wands and the ten of wands, there's something here that they're still healing from, something here that they're still feeling drained by. Okay, so whether it's uh, you know, I was the one who was dishonest, so now I have to prove myself or I have to regain Leo's trust. Or it could be someone feeling like this connection was great, but now because of what has happened between the both of us, it feels more burdensome. They're really um, not only just being hard on themselves this week, I think what's bothering them is they want some sort of a new beginning with you. Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, but Nine of Wands and Ten of Wands could be, um, you know, and the Two of Swords, like, you know, is, you know, is that far-fetched? Or it could be someone feeling like, how do I reverse the effects of what happened? Because what I see here is this person feels like they have a lot of history with you, but after some sort of an ending, they don't know how to come back. They don't know how to, um, you know, have a new beginning here. Like it's, it's like they want it, but they don't know if that's realistic is how it's coming through to me. This person could also feel like they, um, you know, they're very, like they have a lot on their plate this week, whether it's, you know, other issues that they're dealing with or just someone who feels like they're just carrying a lot. But I think when they think about this connection with you, it's draining them because they want a new beginning, but they're not really sure what to do to have that new beginning with you. They're not seeing something clearly. So mainly what I see in your person's emotions this week is someone who is very stressed out about the future of this connection and someone who is trying to accept an ending, but they're still thinking about a new beginning. So yeah, you could read it as in between worlds, especially uh, with that two of swords and the queen of cups energy, you know, in between worlds emotionally, but I more so see it as like some days they're like, yeah, I can, I can have a new beginning. I, I have what it takes to apologize and move forward. And then other days they think, even if I apologize, there's so much more that, that we have to fix and work on in order to have this connection. And is that possible or is that far-fetched? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. King of Wands. My apologies, guys. I had to cough. I didn't want to cough. Um, in your ear here but we have the king of wands <clears throat> and the eight of wands in the uh, outcome so this is someone who's communicating with you you're on the receiving end of some sort of communication um this could be someone who's at a distance from you or again guys it could just be the emotional distance that we spoke about but what i see is communication that you were either looking forward to something that is genuinely making you happy and what's interesting to me guys is like <clears throat> We have the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Not only does this person feel feel that, you know, communicating with you would make things a lot uh, better, a lot easier, they are still, again, attracted to you. They have emotions for you. And I think that this is someone who's tired of, you know, being held back. For others of you, this person could also be moving closer to you because this could be a card of, like, travel as well. We have the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords. Someone who has been spying on you or keeping tabs on you is communicating with you. That's what I see in the potential outcome. Do I see that they have been observing this connection, observing you from afar for quite some time? Absolutely. And with the Eight of Swords, it kind of is just confirming what I said with the Two of Swords. Someone who has felt very stuck on you mentally. Someone who has felt like, okay, I want some sort of progress, but what do I do moving forward? Again, you're receiving this communication from someone who has been stuck on you for quite some time. Eight of Swords. <clears throat> Clarifying the King of Wands, which is someone who, you know, felt very stuck on you. They they feel like they have been thinking about you for quite some time. And Eight of Wands, Page of Swords, communication after a period of either trying to figure something out on their own or just watching you from afar here. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So for some of you, this is coming in while you're just like more focused on yourself or you're feeling a lot more at ease about this connection. Nine of Pentacles doesn't necessarily mean that you're not ready for a connection or, or you don't want a commitment and you just want to be on your own. It could quite literally be that you are very well off and you're feeling great on your own and you're ready for 
uh, you know, a connection here. What I see is someone who just had enough time to, uh, you know, think about this connection. And the main thing that I'm getting in the potential outcome is communication after a period of like spying or, or being held back. Okay. So my wonderful Leos, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.